Step three for the intermediate oboist is all about tonguing and slurring, good articulation. This is not easy for your teacher to teach because it's one of those dynamics of playing the oboe that you cannot see. You cannot actually see the tongue with the players actually touching the reed. So you only really can hear the sound to determine whether or not the tongue is accurate or not. If we play the B flat major scale and we slur the scale, there is no silence between the note. But as I start to tongue the note, there are different lengths of silence between those notes. And I can make that silence either expand or contract by putting my tongue on the reed to start the sound and then bring the tongue back on the reed again to stop the sound. And this is what we call a staccato. Your band director is going to want you to play all those styles of tonguing. A very good legato sound, a very good staccato sound with your tonguing, and a very good slurred sound. And it's important to keep the air moving between the notes as you play the legato, staccato, and you're slurring the notes on the oboe in all the registers.